Okay, so I'm going to pick up where we left off at the last video, getting started creating Google Spark um, web pages. And so what we're going to do is uh, take a look at some of these other options when we can add things. Obviously, we saw pictures, we saw text, we saw buttons and videos. Uh, but I want to take a look at these last three. We'll look at the photo grid and the split layout first. So if you add a photo grid, it's pretty self-explanatory. You simply can choose photos. And again, if I want to find free photos, say of bears again, we'll find a couple more bears in here. We'll add that guy. And then if I just keep adding more pictures, we'll add him. And let's do uh, let's do this grizzly bear. We'll do some up-close pictures. So there are three pictures there. We can leave it like that. You can rearrange them by moving them back and forward. Um, you can also replace them. If you want to switch which one is the biggest one, click on that one. Then make that one the larger, and the other two will be smaller down below. Uh, again, moving them in different orders. Uh, we'll put them all three together. But I'm going to move that back so that it's a, more of a grid. Okay, so... Taking a look at that, we're going to save it. It's going to put it right back in our website as a small photo grid. It does give us the option to add captions down below. So here is uh, more bear pictures. Okay, so that's pretty simple uh, to do photo grids like that. Those are nice and handy. Let's look at the next one. Uh, we're going to take a look at the split layout. And again, this one's pretty simple. Uh, you have a couple of options. And, and what this will do is make a large image on one side and then give you the options to add text or a small photo or a video or a button on the other side. So that's kind of the only options. You can add a big picture here. Let's put a new bear in. Uh, let's get, the, I like that guy right there. Let's get this picture. Uh, and so we put, put that picture in. And on this one, we are going to add some text, you know, maybe a little bit of a header about bear information. Then we're going to add, uh, maybe above, we'll put another small photo of uh, polar bear again with just a little bit of an information idea there and then a button and and you can kind of see how that all goes so let me cancel that so again those will appear right next to each other and you have the option of reversing uh which one's on the left and which is on the right so a nice little way to stylize this but again the third one and this is one i really like which is i've kind of saved it for last is the glide show and this is really what will attract folks to uh, to your site and think that you are a master web uh, developer by putting one of these together. So uh, we're going to kind of switch. I'm going to grab a few more pictures of some bears. Let's put a big one in here of that. Uh, we will then add, and once we've added that big picture, uh, there we go. Now he's in the right spot. We're going to just save that big picture in the background. Okay. So what I've done is now added sort of this big picture that's going to sit here in the background and I've got this light gray box and here I'll be able to add more information so again I could put another photo in here let's we'll do gummy bears just again for fun add a little caption uh, text we'll just put some text in here and then perhaps uh, another button for more information on you know if you wanted to go to the st. Louis Zoo or something like that um, you know again click here for more bear information bears at the zoo and then this will become a button that people can click on uh, to visit for more information so again this would be really great if you're talking about kids um, putting a website like this together as an alternative for a report or a book report uh, but you'll notice that the bears face is covered up so if I want to move that I can drag it over to the right hand side or if I want to put it in the middle uh, it becomes sort of a big image with the bear in the background but I kind of like it over there on the right hand side so we'll leave it there. Um, I can continue to add more. Again, if I do another glide show, um, simply choose another big picture. Let's do polar bears this time. We'll save that. Now, when our polar bear picture loads, now we have a polar bear picture immediately after our other bear. And here we can add some more information. Maybe another photo. Maybe we put a video in here. Maybe there's a polar bear video that can go in this spot with some text. So again, really great uh, ways for kids to be able to take these and make them uh, their own personal website in a very simple, easy way. In the next video, we'll talk about how to share and present what you can do with these um, once they are created. So that is pretty much it. We will see you in the next video.